This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com, the Earthquake Channel, giving you an update here at uh, 9.41 p.m. in the evening in California. On Monday, January 18th, <clears throat> 2021, and we're going to start with the quakes that have happened during the last uh, 24 hours. And the largest quake we had, well, actually, we had 47 earthquakes, significant earthquakes around the world. And the largest was a 6.4 in Argentina. All right, we're going to start in California with our forecast. <clears throat> and Los Angeles, looking for a strong earthquake. We changed this just recently to a 6.3. 6.3 is possible northwest of Los Angeles, uh, within 50 miles of Simi Valley. And this looks like most likely it's going to hit on uh, late in the 19th and early in the 20th. And then there's not another spike in risk on the 21st. So uh, looking for a strong earthquake northwest of LA within 50 miles of Simi Valley late in the 19th into the 20th. And if you haven't already, please prepare for that. San Francisco, we had a 3.6 on this spike in risk and this uh, 4.2 on the 16th here, and a 4.4 is possible on the 19th, 4.6 on the 21st. All right. Let's take a look at uh, Anchorage, Alaska. On the 19th coming up, we've got a 50% risk of uh, 3.5 or 4.0. Over in Athens, Greece, we had a large uh, risk level here on the 12th into the 13th of January, and that produced a 5.2 and a bunch of 4.0 earthquakes, 4.0, 4.5 on the 12th into the 13th on this uh, peak, and then 4.2 uh, when it uh, reached this level here, 85% uh, or something on the 14th. Now the risk level on the 18th is falling and the 19th is falling. So the risk is falling in the Athens, Greece area. And we have a new forecast for Bogota, Colombia. And these, this you can see, it's kind of uh, up and down, up and down here, this risk level. Um, we're gonna be fixing this in the next couple of days so that it's more of a uh, gradual peaks on these so that we can get a better idea of exactly when these uh, peaks are. This is diff very difficult to understand on this one. So in uh, Christchurch, New Zealand, uh, we have a peak and risk on the 18th and another one on the 21st. Cyprus, the risk level uh, went up on the 15th here. Now the risk is around 40 to 50% for the next uh, 48 hours or so. El Salvador, this is interesting here now in El Salvador. Uh, the risk level was at uh, very high at 100% on, uh, late on the 14th into the 15th when this 5.9 hit south of Guatemala. And this uh, spike here produced a 4.2 south of uh, El Salvador. Very strong peak here. That also showed up in Nicaragua. Let's look at that one real quick. Nicaragua. And you can see that same risk level is very high on the late on the 14th into the 15th when that 5.9 hit Guatemala. And then the risk level is uh, around 80% when that 4.2 hit El Salvador. So these kind of uh, Central America kind of are uh, together um, as far as their risk level kind of goes up and down together. And uh, Guatemala City. Now this is interesting because El, El Salvador, the risk level went up very high. But sometimes when you're close to the uh, area where that earthquake, the 5.9 hit offshore, it won't show up very strong. So it was very, it was, it was a 20, 30% risk level but El Salvador right next door picked up that risk level. So sometimes it's very, it's very strange on that. So here's a 4.2. This picked up the El Salvador quake here uh, late on the 17th. 
and Hilo, Hawaii. And once again, we're going to fix this so that uh, these peaks are more gradual instead of these uh, sharp peaks here. But uh, pretty significant risk level on uh, the 18th and the 19th. Istanbul, Turkey. Risk level is quite low over there, uh, be below 40% uh, in the next uh, 48 hours. Jakarta, Indonesia. On the 20th into the 21st, it looks like we get a 5.0 or 5.5 even in that area. Lima, Peru. This is so fascinating how this works here. 4.6 hit when this uh, peaked on the 14th into the 15th and a 4.2 on this peak. So you'll see these other ones. Uh, now it's 18th into the 19th. So the risk is falling right now in, uh, in Lima, Peru. Just fascinating how this works. Los Angeles again, um, looking for a strong peak on the 19th, late on the 19th and the 20th, the 6.3 is possible. And the Nicaragua I just showed you just a couple, couple minutes ago, this uh, maximum of uh, risk level uh, produced a 5.9 northwest of there, uh, south of Guatemala. And the risk level right now is significant at 80%. So we could get a uh, 4.5 to 5.0 offshore there for the next 24 hours. And Manila, Philippines. Philippines. And once again, we're going to fix this so that we get smoother lines here. But uh, we had a 4.6 on when it peaked on the late on the 15th here, close to uh, Manila. And now the risk is uh, pretty high, 80, 90% here. Could produce another 4.5 or so. And in Italy, Naples, Italy, 16th, 18th, we're at about right about here. So we could get a 3.5 or so in, in Naples during the next uh, 24 hours. Quito, Ecuador, here's another interesting forecast. You can see when this risk level was uh, maxing out here, we had a bunch of those quakes offshore, uh, northwest uh, Ecuador, northwest of Quito. It's very interesting. Right now, the risk is around 40 to 50%. It's much lower. And Costa Rica. Costa Rica. This 5.2 hit uh, right at the, in the 15th here. Also, this was uh, when that quake hit uh, south of Guatemala as well on the 15th there. So similar peak, but this was a little farther south. Okay, Puerto Rico, San Juan, Puerto Rico. And I think, let's see here. San Juan, Puerto Rico, there we go. So this risk level uh, is on the 21st, is 18th into the 19th. So we could get a 4.5, maybe a 5.0 in the next 24 hours on either one of these peaks here. This is for the San Juan, Puerto Rico area. Santiago, Chile. There it is. And uh, this is on the 19th here, 60%. And on the 20th, we could get a uh, 20th into the 21st there, we could get a 4.5 to 5.0 around Santiago. And Seattle, Washington. Um, risk level on the 18th, 80%. Going to be 3.0 or so. Um, each of these graphs is uh, calibrated a little bit differently. So when it's 100% here in Seattle, it's much, different, uh, it's much more different than uh, LA, for example. So we have to kind of know what's going on behind the scenes when it's 100% here compared to LA. But uh, we could get a 3.0 on this peak here in the 18th and 19th uh, in Seattle. Taiwan. Got a 5.1 on this peak. And uh, these three uh, spikes in risk here could produce another 5.5 or so in the Taiwan area. And Tokyo, Tokyo, Japan, 
On the 20th, we have a pretty strong peak here that could produce a 5.0 to 5.5 around the Tokyo area. Once again, let's go back to Los Angeles. And 6.3 earthquake is possible northwest of Los Angeles. Actually, it's possible anywhere in California, but most likely uh, between San Francisco and LA, <clears throat> but even more likely northwest of LA within 50 miles of Simi Valley. So if, uh, if you haven't prepared, prepared for that. Uh, quite a few significant quakes up in San Francisco Bay also during the next uh, 48 hours to 72 hours. Okay. Thanks again uh, for joining us here today. And uh, the big news is coming up tomorrow night, uh, the 19th into the 20th, looking for a strong earthquake northwest of LA. And uh, please prepare your, uh, yourself there and then also uh, warn your friends and family about that. Strong earthquake coming to California, most likely northwest of uh, LA uh, within 50 miles of Simi Valley. Thanks again. And we'll talk again tomorrow most likely after the quake. And we might do an early update when that quake hits. And we will talk to you soon. Thanks so much. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.